Hi, my name is Erica. I wanted to share a weird experience I had this weekend in regards to a strange undetected accessory notification that popped up on my iPhone. If you hear any weird sounds, that's my cat eating her dinner in the background. If you're on TikTok, you may be familiar with these viral TikToks going around of women finding, women and men, but most predominantly women, finding air tags tucked away into their belongings, you know, or on their car or in their purses, and then receiving a notification on their iPhone that says you have an unknown accessory detected on you. It showing on the map that it's tracking you and then eventually these individuals finding them. I have recently had one of these notifications show up on my phone. Haven't been able to locate an AirTag or a similar tracking device. I posted about this on TikTok and Instagram. I know nobody watches my YouTube videos, but I'm gonna post here anyway. In the off chance that somebody has also any knowledge to offer me or has had a similar experience and may or may not have found the solution because I have not found a solution. So this happened on Friday. I'm filming this on a Sunday. Normal last day, went to school. I had a final. I had to sing and play sax for a big chunk of our jazz department. Ended up going well, but I was stressed about that. Then I went to work and my boyfriend, Brian, picked me up and we went to a basketball game. We are in New Orleans, so we went to a New Orleans Pelicans game. I don't know anything about basketball, but I had a good time, had a few drinks. Stadium was really empty. Apparently no one cares about the Pelicans. And afterwards, we decided to drive to um, a common street close to my university, close to where I live, that is filled with like bars. It has the place where I uh, work, this clothing store that I work at. It has got like some restaurants and insomnia cookies, Starbucks, that kind of shit. Um, it was 10 p.m. at this point, and we had been hanging out since like 6 p.m. in the evening. Um, we park on this street. It's a very busy street. It's a Friday night, and there's college students everywhere. There's people drinking. There's people of all ages walking around, and we just walk into a bar, and we get a drink, and the place that we ended up going to was not busy at all. We were there for not even 15 minutes. I got out of the car. I had my purse with me. I did not set it down. We did not even, we didn't even really sit down. We just had one drink. My boyfriend paid, so I didn't take my wallet out. I didn't take my phone out. Like it was so, it was such a quick, you know, little stop. And then we got back in his car and we drove to my house. We were having a chill night, not trying to go out or go crazy. So we ended up just going to bed or laying down and watching a movie. We were actually watching the Cat in the Hat live action film. Apparently it's really bad and everyone hates it. I don't watch movies, but I'm a fan of random nonsense. So I enjoy this one. We are watching this movie about halfway through. About 11 o'clock at night, I get a notification on my phone that an unknown accessory has been detected on me. I open my phone, I click on the notification. It brings me to the Find My iPhone app and I click on Learn About This Item and I also click again on um, Disable This Item or the other option. I'll insert a photo and it comes up with this server. You item unknown you cannot connect to the server and i instantly recognize this because i'm on tiktok all the time and i have seen these viral videos of women getting these exact same notifications and then finding air tag trackers on their stuff or on their bags or on them i live in new orleans it's a very dangerous city regardless of how much everyone loves it sex trafficking is up and coming around here i tell you like my heart just sunk to my stomach i'm like brian i just got this notification on my phone and he's not on tiktok so he doesn't know what the hell i'm talking about and he looks and he tries to disable it and he just doesn't think anything of it and i was like no there's people on tiktok they're tracking women first thought is that maybe it's his airpods he wears these airpods i don't have airpods but he wears them and so we disconnected them and reconnected them. That didn't seem to make the notification go away. Brian also has air tags on his wallet and his keys, I think. And so we were like, maybe it's his that he was like, it's probably mine, but it didn't make sense because this notification said that this accessory was first seen at 10, 15 PM. And I had been with Brian since 6 PM. So if it were his AirPods or if it were his air tags, you'd think that I would have been notified at 6 PM, not at, not four hours later. We zoom in on the map 
I'll show a photo. It's literally so scary. This dot is exactly where we parked. You can see like we were right across from this little insomnia cookies. You can see where we parked and then it shows the direction we drove in order to get back to my house. So I'm like, get then I saw several videos and I don't know if this is true, but I saw sources that claim that these red dots that we're seeing on the map means that the person is actively opening the phone and checking your location. I checked my bag, I checked my clothes, Brian went outside and checked in his car. We checked behind the license plate. He checked under the tires. We found nothing. I was just so confused. Then Brian took my phone and he took my purse and he got in his car and he drove around the block, leaving me here to see if we got any new notifications or to see if it would move with us on the map. Nothing really changed. You could see on the map here that it showed where we parked and I literally, nobody got near me. Like I have no clue how somebody could have planted something physically on me or on my bag. So I thought maybe it's in his car. It's gotta be in his car, but we look in the car, we find nothing. And then you zoom in on the map right here and you can see that it shows that it entered my house. So I'm just so mind fucked. I'm like, how the hell is this thing? Is this thing in my house? I have no idea. So eventually after reading on Reddit and on TikTok and several comments saying, call the police, we decide to call the non-emergency police line. Brian first calls because I'm upset. So I, I don't like talking to people. So he, he talks to a woman and she's like, she needs to call her phone carrier. You guys can call us when you have a crime committed. Like super dismissive, doesn't give a fuck about my problems. So we're like, well, I don't know what the fuck to do. We tried calling Apple. I honestly thought Apple had 24 seven customer service, but I guess people have to go home and sleep. So it was late at night. So nobody, we weren't able to get in touch with any individuals. About 40 minutes later, I decide to call police again myself and I called the non-emergency line. And I just said very bluntly, I just got this notification that an unknown device has been detected on me. I've been reading scary stories that people have been using air tag trackers and other devices to track women and them getting notifications just like the one I just got. And I don't know if somebody is trying to look for me or what. The officer on the phone says, okay, we're gonna dispatch an officer. And he was like, don't do anything don't move, don't do anything to aggravate it or change the situation. Maybe 20 minutes later, some guy shows up. This guy was an imbecile. I was so frustrated. He was being nice. I appreciate him being nice, but it was so obvious that this man who was like in his thirties probably had no idea what an air tag was. And he's talking to me and I'm explaining the situation. Brian is trying to help me explain the situation. And he's just like, I would call Apple. First he tells us that Apple has 24 seven customer service. And I was like, no, they don't. We just called them and I couldn't get in touch with anybody. This is, there's one viral TikTok that I've seen of this woman who actually ended up finding an AirTag and she called police and police actually took her bag and searched it and they found the air tag stuck in with double-sided tape on her duffel bag so i was hoping they would take my bag i had my bag in my wallet i thought like maybe they would help me search or do anything this guy just really didn't want to help me he even said like apple says you can't really just stick an air tag on something and track where it where it goes brian was like Yes, you can. That's the point of an air tag. I was so tired and frustrated that I didn't even want to do anything. I just like would cry while this man was talking to me. And he was like, stay home and lock your doors. This motherfucker literally told me, call us if somebody hurts you. So the next part of my video did not record, which is really annoying, but I meant to say that after wasting a lot of time talking to this very dismissive police officer, I ended up just going to bed and calling Apple the next morning. It was so impossible to sleep that night. I could not stop waking up and checking my phone to see any more notifications from the device. I like honestly thought somebody was going to just like knock on my door or throw a rock through my window and just crawl in. But I ended up waking up super early the next morning and just calling Apple. The lady was actually very nice and receptive and took it pretty seriously and did want to make sure that you know, this wasn't a risk to my safety. Um, she did hear me out and like listen to my concerns that I got off TikTok, but. The first thing she says is that she has never seen a notification like this where you're unable to learn more about the device. So I'm just like, well, cool. Um, then they suggest wiping my phone clean. Um, and she just doesn't know what the hell to do. 
And she's like, well, I do want to make sure that this is not a risk to your safety. So I am going to send out a request for more information from our engineers and I'm going to get back to you on Wednesday. When we live in a scary world where nobody is ever 100% safe and it's very difficult to get someone to take you seriously. If you have any information or if you've experienced anything similar to this, please let me know. If you watched, I appreciate you watching. I just... Maybe we can get Apple to figure their shit out so this stops happening. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, my name's Erica. Check out some of my music. Watch my other videos if you want to. I guess I can't force you to do that. Thank you again. Please like, comment, subscribe.